everybody, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to properly use the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner which also includes 5% of glycolic acid to gently remove any dead skin cells to also gently exfoliate the skin so that you also will achieve a smoother skin texture as well as brighten your complexion at the same time. Now it also does include ginseng as well as aloe vera which also can help you to hydrate the skin and also to soothe and calm the skin at the same time. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner, how much you need to use it, also when you need to use it and also how you can also properly apply it all over your face and neck area. But before we're getting started with the application of the Glow Tonic Toner, we have to start off with step number one, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type. Now if you're using a different cleanser, please also make sure to read the directions on how you can also properly wash your face before we're getting started with the Glow Tonic Toner, which we're also going to leave on the skin so that you also have a freshly washed and clean face before we're getting started. Now go ahead and use also a small amount of your cleanser if you have to apply it on wet skin, otherwise also use it on dry skin and gently massage it into the skin. So, and after you are done with massaging it into the skin, you now can also go ahead and rinse off your cleanser. If you want to need something or if you want to use something that can also help you to remove your cleanser a bit easier, I recommend also using a fresh cloth which you can also wet in between. And this can also help you to gently remove the cleanser so that you're making sure that everything comes off. So, and now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So, and now you can also move on to the next step, which is also now applying the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. Now, this is your second step after cleansing, and it's a toner as well as exfoliant in one. So, it's like a two in one, which is also great to also save you some time. Now, the way that you're also going to use this one is also applying it on a fresh cotton pad and also sweep it gently across your face and neck area, also avoiding the eye area. So, also please make sure to not get it clo too close around the eye area and do not get it into your eyes. Now also when using the Glow Tonic Toner, you can use it daily in the morning and evening and it's also suitable for all skin types. However, if you're new to acids, like glycolic acid for example, I recommend starting off slowly and also use it um, like basically every other day so that you can see how your skin is going to respond to it, so that your skin is also getting used to the first time using an acid. If that's fine, if everything went well, you can also start using it daily once per day. See how your skin responds to it. If everything is fine, then you also may be able to use it um, in the morning as well as evening, like using it twice per day. This, however, depends on your skin tolerance and also what feels the best. Some people can use it daily, other people prefer to use it every now and then, like a few times per week, and other people only wanted to stick to using it once per day daily, and that's fine too, so see what works the best. However, start off slowly before using it daily, which is also really important when starting off with also using an acid for the first time. Now I recommend that you're going to use a fresh cotton pad and that you're also going to apply it with a fresh cotton pad. And dispense also a bit of product onto the cotton pad. Now how much you need to use on your cotton pad? You will see it. I recommend starting off with a little bit less. Use about a coin size amount at the start so that you can see how far you can come with it. And of course it also depends on how you want to use it. Like you can only use it on your face but you can also bring it down towards your neck area as well as decolletage. So if you want to include your neck area and decolletage as well, you may want to use a bit more. If you only want to use it on your face, use a bit less. And I recommend starting off with sweeping motions. Starting off with your forehead, then moving towards your cheeks, as well as chin and nose area, and around the mouth. 
Please do not bring it too close towards the eye, avoid the eye area. If you're getting it into your eyes, please rinse it with water. And now you can also start going down towards your neckline, if you like to. And also use it on your décolletage, if you prefer. Now, of course, this is personal preference. And then it also depends on how much you're going to use. And after you're done with the application, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off, as this is also now going to sink into the skin, gently also exfoliates the skin um, over time, and it also will help you to move away any dead skin cells, just leaving your skin texture feeling soft and smooth, as well as brighten your complexion and also hydrate the skin at the same time, which also feels very refreshing. Now, after you are done with the glow tonic application, you now can go ahead and move on to your favorite serum or moisturizer if you like to, or also include both. And I'm just going to finish it off also with a moisturizer. Now, go ahead, use your favorite serum or moisturizer. If you're using your moisturizer, use about a pea size amount and also apply it all over your face and neck area. And I'm going to use it on my fingertips. Use it between my hands and then gently also applying it on top of the glow tonic toner. That's fine too. This of course depends on what products you have at home, but the glow tonic toner is going to be your second step after cleansing, which is really important. This is when you're going to use it. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and move on to your serum or also moisturizer. Now, after you're done with the moisturizer application, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, one thing that's really also important to emphasize, and this is also, since it also includes 5% of glycolic acid, which is an AHA acid, an alpha hydroxy acid, this can also make your skin sensitive to the sun. So whenever you're being exposed to the sun, and you want to avoid getting sunburned, I recommend also uh, like finishing it off with a good sunscreen as your last step. Of course, this also would only be the case if you're using it in the morning to protect your skin. If you're going to use the Glow Tonic Toner in the evening, there's no need to also finish it off uh, in the evening with a sunscreen. So this is only when also being exposed to the sun to really make sure to protect the skin. Now I'm going to also use now as my last step a bit of the sunscreen and I'm going to apply it all over my face and neck area wherever I also use the glow tonic toner. And this is also where this like the sun can also hit your face as well as neck area, which also can make it a bit more sensitive to the sun. However, of course, please also don't forget the rest of your body when also being exposed to the sun to protect it with a sunscreen. And then gently finish it off with your sunscreen in the morning. Also, don't forget your neck area, your décolletage, as well as your ears. So, and after you're done with the sunscreen application, this is basically your last step in the morning when also being exposed to the sun. I also just want to mention that now you can also go ahead if you like to and finish it off or with your makeup application if this is also something that you also want to follow up. If not, then the sunscreen will be your last step or your moisturizer in the evening if you want to use one. So this is basically what I wanted to share with you. I also now do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you also now know how you can properly use the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner and that you also know after what step you're going to apply it to your face. Now, if you like this video, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one and happy skin caring. Bye.